Hey, what's up everyone? Pinpoint here again, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a uh, tutorial on sniping cards. So basically I just found a snipe as long as this didn't get uh, bought out while I was waiting to start the video. But uh, so a snipe is when you can buy a card for a lower than the value that it's supposed to be at. So as you can see, 15500 is the lowest one on the screen. Now I can buy one for 3000 less than that. What you have to keep into account is that when you buy a card to snipe it, like you need to factor in that you're going to lose 10% when you sell it. So even if I sell this card at 15000 flat, I'm only going to lose 1500 which is still going to make me a full 1000 MT, which is a nice pickup. So I'm going to go try and pick this one up. And that one was actually bought out. So I lost out on that, but that's just because I was starting the video. But so here's some of my previous snipes that I've been trying to list and sell. Um, and as you can see, all these Cameron Paynes that I have listed that I sold for 11800 and 12700 are going to be cards that I bought for roughly like 9000 or possibly less. Like I know one I bought for about 6200 So I'm going to redeem these just to get some MT. This Malik Beasley I bought for 10000 so that's a complete steal right there. I just made, you know, over 2K MT. Now, yeah, I'm just going to redeem these really quickly, get my MT up. Now I'll be able to show everybody, you know, how I can do this. So basically the way that I do it is going to be all sniping silvers for the most part right now because silver's value is extremely inflated if you guys have checked out the new collections Basically, you check out a collection like the 76ers. Well, when you complete this collection, you're going to get 20 tokens. And so these 20 tokens are good for, you know, redeeming. You can redeem them over here um, to get cards anywhere from Emerald all the way to Galaxy Opal. You know, if you really get there and you have 750 tokens, which could be possible by the end of the year. Um, so same thing, you know, 150 for a pink diamond, which is pretty good value. So anyway, that's just another part they added to the game. But you can basically, the uh, silvers are going to be extremely inflated right now. Like for example, um, I know Landry Shamit is one that's up there. So he's going to be like roughly like a 5k card, even though, you know, he's a 71 overall. Nobody's going to be rocking him in the lineup. And same with, I'm looking for the rookie Zaire Smith. Um, this card is definitely up there, so you see that like he has you know a crazy inflated value for us silver. So I have a little list of cards which uh, sniping actually takes like a lot of work. It, you know you have to know the market a little bit, but so I know that like what you're gonna want to do is target the teams that have like very inflated silvers. So I would always set the color to silver. Then position, you can choose to do a position or you can choose to not do one, but it's definitely worth it most of the time because there's like a lot of different silvers for each team. But I know the Bulls have like Cameron Payne, who's going to be one of the most inflated silvers. So I go in here and there's one up for 11 and one up for 18,350. Now, usually this would just tell me, you know, buy the one for 11 and relist it for you know, a lot higher than that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy the one for 11. And now I sold one for 15 last night. So I'm able to go, I will actually redeem all these Cameron Paynes because I have four of them now. And then I'm going to list all of them around 15. Now to anybody else on the auction house who needs this card to complete the bull set, they're going to be able to see that, oh, well, this guy has them up for 15 that's going to be a lot better of a deal than, you know, listing them at 18. So I'll list one at 15.5. Usually list them for four hours unless I feel like they're not going to sell. Occasionally I'll list them for 12 hours just to give it a little bit more time. One's going to be listed at 15 flat. And then I'll list one at like 14,750. And then... The last one I'll make a decision on in one second. So this one I guess I'll do at like fifteen two fifty or whatever. 
And so basically I do expect like at least two of these to sell and then the ones that don't sell can be relisted. And I would make profit on those basically no matter what. These are two of the other cards that I look at pretty frequently as a year smith and then OG and Anobi, which definitely could be good cops. So you can always just look up silvers by name. That's one of the best ways to search as well. So you can see OG goes for about like 3k at the lowest. So then when I see like this one at 2300, I know that even if I sell this at that 2700, I can still make profit. So then I can go here and I can list up this OG. And so that's going to be helpful because you know, that's still a profit even if I just list it back up at 2700. So I'll actually list both of these really quickly just to show you guys, you know. Basically, you're going to want to just list it. You you want to buy the card so that you can still list it at the lowest price and still make profit so that it'll sell quickly. It's in a place that it will sell quickly. Like, there's no question about that. And then you're still going to get MT. So, Sawyer so Smith, like I said earlier, is a guy I look at too. Now, right now, the these two cards are just too close together. You know, if these were all at 6,600, then I'd definitely buy the one for 5K and repost it for like 6K. And I'd make a 400 profit, which, you know, small profits add up pretty quickly if you're able to snipe quickly. But, you know, this is not a card I'm going to buy right now. Then the Nuggets are one of the teams that I would say definitely always check because they have the most inflated silvers out of any team. As you can see, first you can check point guard. There's nobody there. And then two guard, you're going to look at Malik Beasley. Now he is just like the most inflated silver, one of the most. So this card for 10,100, I'm actually going to pick up right now because the next one's at about 13K. So I can list mine for, you know, 12,750 and still make like a solid 1K plus profit. Then you go to small forward, which is going to be this guy, Tory Craig, and he's also super inflated. And there's not really one like this 12.8. If I sell it for about 13.750, it's not going to be a profit. And then you move on to Juan Hernan Gomez, which also not a profit for right now, but that's okay. And so that's that for their team, I guess, because they don't have a center that's silver. But like I said, the Bulls are an ideal team to do this with. Felicio's always up there in price, which is definitely something you could check. But almost you just have to search for like which silver, which teams have silvers that are super high up there in price, and then you want to just consistently check them. Now you can check lower price silvers, like a guy that I check on a regular basis. I'll show you in one second. But yeah, there's Holiday goes for like seven. Hutchison goes for you know seventy seven hundred. So this sixty five hundred Hutchison is actually a pretty good buy because you can make some profit off of that. But I guess I'm going to buy him and save him for tonight because prices do also go up at nighttime. So that's for tonight. But there isn't really a uh, Justin Holiday that I'm willing to buy right now because there's none that make you profit. But for example, the last thing I'm going to leave you guys with is that you can look up like the cheaper silvers and um, you can buy these cheaper silvers which actually his price was down at like 2000 yesterday so I wish I could have saved him and sold him for 3500 now but I you know you don't know how the market's going to work always but so yeah you can look up like the really cheap silvers like each one is usually cheap or um the warriors I'd say are definitely the team to look if you're trying to get like the cheapest snipes you know if you don't have as much like MT well, it's pretty, you know, pretty simple. You're going to go through like the same thing. So if you want to target like Kevon Looney, you can either search by power forward and silver and warriors to see if you can find one for like 1500 to resell or, you know, uh, your Ebco to resell for, you know, a really low price. Like I see that these prices are kind of a little bit higher on him and I saw one for two over here. So I mean, it would almost be worth it to buy like the few of these that are at 2250, 2300 and 2k to resell, but it's not necessarily like the best investment cuz you're not sure whether they'll sell. And then same thing with like point guards. Their their silvers are all cheap. So they have probably one of the cheapest sets to complete for the tokens and they also have like the cheapest silvers to snipe, you know, depending on what you're looking for. So like 
that Livingston for 2050 and that Quinn Cook for 2K, those could be cops. Like, you know, I could definitely pick those up, but the fact that there's a few more up for like around the same price does not look good. But sometimes you might want to buy like all three of these Quinn Cooks for like 2150 and then 2050 or 2000 or whatever it was. And then, you know, I could relist all those around 3K. So that's something I could look into doing as well. So that's like a market reset almost. But yeah, here's, I got a Malik Beasley and the Hutchison, which are going to be worth together like close to 20K. And, you know, I could spend a lot less than that if I'm looking pretty you know, quickly and looking every so often. And then, yeah, the last thing that I actually want to say one more thing is that you can check in their collections. Like, let's say you want Vince Carter, you can search right from here. So that's like a very easy way to snipe. And like the 7,500 would actually be a good buy because you can profit if you just sold them for 8,500 or 8,750. So if you guys like this video or if it helped you out at all, Please leave a sub and a like, and then if you can comment what you guys would like next, I'd be definitely willing to make some more videos on my team.